Hello, my name is Ryan from Buster Beagle 3D. Today I want to give a little tutorial on how I was able to engrave this brass coin using the Xtool F1. I'm still in the middle of a full review on the machine, but I figured I might get a lot of questions on how I was able to engrave on this coin, so I thought I'd put this little video out explaining my process and later on come out with a full video showing how I was able to make many more things with this machine. So let's get started. Okay, so first, I used a site called LaserPix. It's part of the ImageR website where you can get a bunch of free images. And there's a lot of images on here that, that do fairly well when it comes to laser engraving with the different types of machines. So I went and grabbed one from here and I was gonna give credit to where it was, but, but it seems like in the day since I downloaded this image, it's now part of their paid subscription, so I don't know the name of the person that this came from, but this is the image that I will be using. Okay, so I imported that image into Xtool Creative Space, and this is a, a version that just came out yesterday, so I definitely recommend checking it out. They've added a couple new cool features like curve tax and some other things. If you haven't looked at Xtool Creative Space in a while, they also have layers, which is really nice. And it's really cool to see that they are constantly updating this software. But for right now, I've imported this image in. Really, the only thing that I've done to this image from the website is I brought in the Photoshop. I cropped it by cutting it out into a circle. And then I adjusted the contrast just a little bit because I wanted it to pop out a little bit more. Before you even click on it, I am using the Xtool F1. Laser flat is fine. For the material, I picked brass, which is going to set some of the settings for me when I get to the next page. So I'm going to select it. And I'm going to be engraving with the infrared laser. Now these are the settings that Xtool already sets up when you're looking at the material settings from the website. And what I'm going to be doing is bitmap engraving on brass. And so you'll see that it's, they want to have it at 80 power, one pass. This is the dots per inch is 550 and the duration is 200. And then I'll be using the Jarvis dithering method. And for this one, I'm going to invert. Now, what this is going to do initially is it's going to give me a very bright image. Later on, I'm going to show you how I'm going to darken that image, but for, for right now, we'll, we'll start with that bright image. Okay, so you'll see I have that dot duration of 200, power to 80, and DPI. And for this one, I'm going to be inverting the image. So everything that is black will now be a lighter color when it, it is when it's engraved on the brass. So I think that'll be okay. I will hit start. And click start here. You'll hear that beep. And then I'll press the button on the device itself. Okay, so as you can see here, this is really just kind of set up the lighter areas, but we're not getting the darker areas, which is what really gives it the depth. But I like to do the lighter section first to just give it kind of a first pass, kind of a base. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on this and I am going to invert it again. So back to the original image. And then instead of the dot duration of 200, I'm going to do a dot duration of 2000, keep everything else the same, and I will hit start. And what you should start to see here once this starts to work is now all of the areas that are black are going to get darker 
and then leave the areas that were white and white. So I'm going to hit start. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to have some even deeper black areas in here. So I'm going to select the image, and then over here where it says grayscale, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pull from the top down. So what we're doing here is we're, we're getting rid of kind of the grays and really pushing where the blacks are. So it, it's kind of getting rid of from the whites all the way to the middle grays and, and just leaving us with those kind of deeper blacks. So I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to change my dot duration again. And this time I am going to make this 3000, which is the highest this will let you go. And 80 is fine for now. Everything else is the same. And I'll run this again. So as you can see, it's really starting to get some really nice detail in there. I'm going to push it just a little bit further. I'm going to grab just really the most dark areas in here. And then I'm going to change the power up to 100%. Keep everything else the same. And run this just one last time for a final dark pass. So for my final pass, what I'd like to do is a little bit of a light cleanup pass. So I'm going to go all the way back to the original and I am going to invert it. And again, anything that's black will now be white, but I'm just going to scale this up until I'm just getting just the very tips of the, of what needs to be white here. And one cool thing about this laser is if you go over the surface again, like I could go over the surface with a white circle and basically wipe the the, the coin clean. But with, with this, all I'm doing is adding just white areas back to just these little kind of details that I want to see. So I'm going to go back to the dot duration of 200. Go back to power of 80. And everything else should be the same. And I will hit start. And we should see just these small areas that I have selected here go back to a, a wider state.
And that's it. That's how I was able to do this coin. Now, as you've seen, I, I basically did this one step at a time. If I was going to be making a lot of these, it's not something that I would do particularly in that way. What I could do is I could set up each one of those layers that I did as separate layers. So if I had the original image here, I could copy and paste it, make sure that it aligns correctly, and then put this one in another layer so that the first layer would be, you know, the white pass, then the second layer would be the inverted pass or, or whatever. And then doing it that way, I could basically set up a bunch of different steps to, to do this all at the same time. But I was just showing you how this worked or kind of my methodology for doing this to get this, this coin looking like that. Now, again, this is just a superficial mark on the coin. This is not a fiber laser. A fiber laser would, would obviously do this much quicker and make more of a, of a deep mark on the coin. But using the F1 and this brass coin, this is how I was able to do that. So I hope you guys like this. Again, I will be coming out with a full review of this machine and what I was able to do with it, what I think about it, whether I like it or not. But for now, I just wanted to get this out in case anyone had questions about how I was able to do that coin. If you like this, hit that like button and consider subscribing to see other videos that I will come out with on this machine. So thanks again, stay safe, and we'll see you next time.